Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to Crook and Stick GC Lider by Mike Ricks. As you can see, fairways are firm, greens are normal, green speeds medium fast, everything else is going to be left at default. We do have 5 tee options, we will be playing off the black tees which are playing 7,525 yards and as always pin set number 1. So really looking forward to playing this RCR. This course is located in Carmel, Indiana, a suburb north of Indianapolis, built in 1964 by the famous course architects Pete and Alice Dye. So, hole number one, par four, playing 359 yards. As you all know, I am a big fan of RCRs, especially LiDAR versions where, due to the designer using LiDAR, you tend to get the courses that little bit more accurate. So we've got 10 mile per hour winds here, there's no way we're going to be hitting the big dogs. So come down to the two wood, but imagine that would leave us a little pitch shot into the first green. Decent open and swing. And that's going to wake. Wake? It's going to make its way right to the edge of the fairway, I would imagine. There's no way we were reaching that green. I think we would have came up into the heavy rough there. But we've got a pitch shot. So lob wedge is going to be bang on. Just going to loft it up a touch. The, br the green breaks severely to the right. So just going to use that slope to our advantage. Great execution, that should bounce out and then hopefully check up just like that and that is going to set us up for an open and birdie putt. All right, nice little, two -foot putt. little two footer, which we do convert and as always it's great to start the round with a birdie and we are going to move it on to hole number two which is a par four playing 439 yards. So this course has hosted the PGA Championship in 1991, won by John Daly, and the US Women's Open in 1993, won by Laurie Martin. It also hosted the Solheim Cup matches in 2005, and back in 2012 it also hosted the BMW Championship, won by Rory McIlroy. So just sending this one down the right-hand side of the fairway, allowing that win to bring us back. Still pushing things slightly to the right. But that one kept within the swing line. And as you can see, the wind's bringing us right back to the left-hand side of that fairway. And looks like we have about 135 yards. So 133 yards. Going to take off two yards. So it's playing 131 yards. Applying some fade here just to counteract this 11 mile per hour wind. Lofting it up as well. Let's see if we can get this one dialed in towards the flag stick. Oh, it's a beautiful execution. I tell you what, this looks all over this pin. It's long. How on earth is that long? I really expected that wind to hold me up. And that ball's travelled 142 yards. Once again, the inconsistencies of the wind in this game rearing its ugly head. So we've got a putt, 27 feet. Greens are 166. Hopefully that should start to turn back. I tell you what, have we? Oh, it just floats by the left-hand edge of the cup. And we are going to pick up a par here from four feet, I would imagine. So really surprised at that wind. Amazed I got that distance with it. A lofted up pitching wedge. But let's move on to hole number three, which is a par three. Playing 200 yards, but this is a really nice looking course. Very natural, very simplistic, but look at that pin position with this green. That green breaks hard right. Going to come down to the six iron. I like that wind to carry us. That green really breaks hard. Just going to t apply a touch of D-loft here. See if we can get this running up towards the flag stick, but it's going to be so hard to hit this green. It's a great execution. I would imagine this may run off the side of the green, actually. Just comes up a little bit short. That uphill slope killed the momentum of the ball, but it does sit and stay on the green. We are going to have a putt. Difficult putt from 24 feet out. There's not much movement in this one. It is moving both ways. Hopefully we've played it firm enough. I tell you what, that looks in. And it is in, and we do pick up our second birdie off the round and move to two under. 
But the last time I witnessed the uh, Crooked Stick was in 2016. Once again, it was the BMW Championship, and I think it was Dustin Johnson won with the record-breaking score of minus 23. But for many years, this course has been noted as one of the top 100 courses in the US by Golf Week and Golf Magazine. And hole number four is a par four, playing 480 yards. So we are really swinging well today. Pushed that one slightly to the right. And that kicks out right into the middle of the fairway. And we are right this course does have a few trees scattered throughout holes and around the perimeter. It is a par 72 from all tee boxes. And the grass used is bent grass. For those of you interested in that, it's a beautiful strike. Once again, maybe a slight push. That's going to come up short. Why? All right, you're on the green. The Yellow wind board. is really playing inconsistent here. I just can't seem to get the perfect combination with the wind and the, the yardage yet. But hopefully that'll come. Once again, we've got a 28 foot putt. One foot uphill. There is a fair bit of movement to this one. Once again, just making sure we play it firm enough. Is that going to turn back? Oh, wow, it just burns the edge. And we do miss out on another birdie from range. And we tap that in from four inches for the part. But yeah, I do recall after about a week of playing this game, speaking about the inconsistencies of the wind. And still to this day, in my opinion, it's still there. But hole number five is a long par five, playing 618 yards. Depending on which way this wind's blowing, we may struggle to believe in ourselves a simple layup shot here. There's no way we're reaching this in two. But once again, it's a beautiful looking hole. That wind's going to move us to the left. 12 mile per hour wind. So just setting this down the right hand side. Put a fast in it, but it's going to work out in our favour. We did push that one right as well. Something that has really creeped into my game. My controller is very, very sensitive now, though. It's kind of lost its its tightness in the, the analogue sticks. But two wood. We should be able to chase us down here. Just allow that wind to bring us back round to the left. We should be leaving ourselves a flop shot. Maybe even a chip shot. That's a great strike. Pure strike there. This may even kick on, depending on what kind of kick we get. No, it kicked to the right. So we are going to have a little flop or a chip shot. Nice. Hopefully we can get that close. It is going to be a chip shot, so we're really going to play this aggressive. Certainly don't want to miss this too far left, or that ball will go way down the slope. We put a slow on it. Maybe just a bit nice. too aggressive there. Certainly no gimme from four feet, but we read it well, and we do pick up another birdie, and we move to three under par. So solid start to this round, but really enjoying this course from Mike Ricks. It's another designer who we've never come across previously, but what a beautiful hole this hole here is. Number six, playing 201 yards, par three. Water is on play on the right-hand side, and with that wind, we're going to club down to the six iron. Just going to, once again, apply some fade here to counteract that wind. Just going to deal off this a few touches. The wind going by previous holes shouldn't hold this ball up distance-wise. It's a great execution. This could be decent. This could be really decent. And I tell you something, this has got a chance of dropping for the ace. What a fantastic shot that is, and hopefully... We can pick up a birdie. I think it's been about five, six, seven weeks since I've had a, a hole in one. We do drop that for another birdie and we do move to four under par. But there's so many talented designers out there now, guys, that seven times out of ten, whatever course you go and play, it's a fantastic course that's near enough five stars. 
hole number seven, par four, playing 450 yards. But I do really enjoy these natural, simple looking courses that play like RCRs. Obviously this one is an RCR. But you can tell it's been well designed with the help of LiDAR. It's a beautiful tee shot and that is going to make its way down the right centre of the fairway. The wind really holding that up. It's going to be a long second shot into this green with this wind. So 10 mile per hour wind so we're, we're clubbing down to the 6 iron. Certainly won't land this on the left hand side of the flag stick. It's a beautiful clean strike. It's tracking well. This should sit down after a few bounces. Just like that. And that is a beautiful approach shot. That is a fantastic golf shot. And if you haven't already done so, guys, please spam the like button. And hopefully we can convert a six-foot putt. It is going to turn quite aggressively to the left here. We play it dead weight. It does turn into the heart of the cup. And we do pick up another birdie. So great start to this round. And we do move to five under par through the first seven holes. So hole number eight, par four, playing 490 yards. This looks like a beautiful dog leg left. This is clearly the countryside theme here that the designer Mike Ricks has used here. But really good rendition. Of the crooked stick GC so far oh i've pushed out right once again so we're going to be more on the right hand side of the fairway here i really wanted to be more towards the the water side of the fairway so we are going to have a longer approach shot into this green now it's 163 yards it's playing 162 once again just going to have to apply a touch of fade here just to counteract this 10 mile per hour wind just deal off in this also It's a beautiful clean strike. I tell you something, this should be tracking right at it. It's going to run out a few feet past the pin. Probably about 7 to 9 feet past. But we do have another birdie opportunity here. 10 feet. This is a downhill putt from 10 feet. Breaking both ways here. Certainly breaking more to the right. If that holds its line, it's in and it does drop for... Another birdie and we do move to six under par. So final hole of the front nine is a par five playing 533 yards. This is a fantastic looking course guys. I keep saying it. Very simple. Very natural. And it plays so so well. I just want to take this opportunity to thank the, the three or four people who have supported the channel via PayPal and bought me a coffee. Thank you so much. It's truly appreciated. Obviously, I won't actually buy a coffee, but all funds donated will go into the channel to making this a better channel for you guys viewing pleasure. So thank you so much. It's a good swing. We should find the right center of the fairway here. Don't want to go too far to the right or that tree could totally obscure your line of sight into this green we've played that well i think we can play this too we're just going to loft it up this 11 mile per hour wind should really hold us up we may just trickle through the back of the green here i've pushed that slightly to the right as you can see it is holding up in the wind is it going to hold the green? No, it's just going to trickle off the dance floor into the, the fringe. I think we'll opt to putt this. This one's really going to break hard left. This is for the eagle. Just going to play this dead weight. Don't want to play it too firm. Oh, I just, I've nowhere near left enough for the break there. Didn't compensate enough for the break. But we are going to pick up a simple birdie from two feet. And we do move to seven under through the front nine. Solid round. 
really enjoyed that front nine there. Absolute fantastic first nine holes of Crooked Stick. So hole number 10, par 4, playing 457 yards. But this really is a fantastic looking course, guys. It is so clean. The layout is fantastic. The writing's good. The planting is really, really good as well. The designer clearly knows his way around. The designer program. And that's another good tee shot. That wind which is now 12 mile per hour into her face, really holding that ball up. And this is going to be a really long second shot into this green here. So we're certainly going to have to club down to the 7 iron. We are on a bit of a severe slope here. Look at that false front on the green. Want to make sure we get past that, that ball, come all the way off the green if not. Oh, it's a beautiful strike. Really clean strike. The wind not holding me up as much as I expected. But we are on the dance floor. 11 foot putt, down 2 inches. One thing here is the greens are a severe challenge on some of the holes. You are going to have putts that are going to ask a lot if you're green reading abilities. Just playing this dead weight here. Is that going to turn? Is that going to turn? It does turn. It's a fantastic putt. That is a really well read putt. Executed to perfection. And we do pick up a birdie and move to 8 under par. Hole number 11, par 5. Playing 539 yards. But there is a few courses that I will be playing in the next coming days that a few of you guys have requested on the channel. I do try and source the best courses for you guys to go out there and play and hopefully you guys do enjoy watching me playing them as well so this time the wind's in our favour that mine should kick to the left oh that's going to go a little bit to the right see that swing line there where I'm pushing it to the right outside the swing line slightly at the bottom of the swing that really punishes you. That really pushes your ball to the right. Something I've got to try and correct. Certainly coming down to the five hybrid here. It's an uphill green. Just lofting this up a touch. Oh, I've pulled that left. There you go. I was trying to compensate and not do the push right. And I've went too far left. But it should just hold the green, I would imagine. No, it doesn't. It trickles into the light rough. Heavy rough it is. So we are going to have a chip shot from 9 yards. Once again we can attack this. I'm going to be playing this aggressive. We're going for the chipping. This would be an eagle. Go on. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, it was a good effort. And we are going to be rewarded with a little tap in birdie. And that's going to put us to 9 under for the round. So a great start to the back nine. Two consecutive birdies. We do move on to hole number 12, which is a par 4, playing 426 yards. This one's a dog leg right. So plenty of detail has clearly went into this course. I really like the cart paths. I have studied the course hole by hole. The yardage is very, very accurate. And the layout of the course is probably about 90% compared to the real thing. You won't get much better than that, guys. Obviously, with it, the tools these designers have at their disposal, you're never going to get an RCR 100% bag on carbon copy. But so far, Mike Ricks has done a fantastic job of this. I assume this course will be used on many societies. And hopefully on the TGC Tours as well. So 161 yards, 7 iron, into the wind. Oh, I think we've pulled that slightly left. It came up short as well. Would have liked that to run out a little bit more than that, but it is an uphill green. 
a ball stopped really, really quickly there. But it's actually a makeable putt. 17 feet, up 5 inches. This one is going to turn to the left. Want to make sure I play this firm enough. Tell you what. I tell you what. Oh my goodness. Just trickles past the right hand side of the cup. And we are going to pick up our first par right of here. the back nine. And we do remain at 9 under par. Okay, so, that'll keep you at nine under so hole number 13. Par 3 playing 100. Uh, and 82 yards. What a beautiful looking par 3 this is. Wow. Little stream running through. Look at that stonework. And the bridge work. That is absolute fantastic. What a beautiful looking hole. It really, really is. And I am so impressed with this crooked stick GC LiDAR. That 12 mile per hour wind is really going to turn us to the left here. Five irons, bang on. It's got to be the club. I'll tell you what. Depends how quickly this sits down. This could be a great shot. It's just going to run on. It's quite a tough pin location, that. Oops, sorry about that. The way the green's designed. So a chip shot from six yards. It's not had much success with the chip shots today. Can't recall my last chip in. It must be about four or five rounds ago. No, push that one slightly to the right. And with that, we are going to have a five foot putt for the part. Solid putt right into the heart of the cup. And we are going to stay at nine under par. So, hole number 14 is a long par 4, playing 496 yards. Once again, water and play through the, the little stream. And this one is a dog leg left. But this is a really nice course, guys. I'm sure you will agree with me. I hope you guys are having as much fun watching this video as I am playing this course. So, we're going to have to play touch and draw here just to counteract that wind. And hopefully we can hold the fairway. This course was remastered in 2008 by Pete Dye. We just run into the, the first cut there. He did design the course in 1967. It was the this course was the first Pete Dye course to host a major championship, which you've already mentioned, the 1991 PGA Championship. So six iron. It's a decent strike. Once again, that little push at the bottom and see how much that punishes you. Wow, how on earth is that wind? How on earth have I came up so short there? So once again, we're just seeing the inconsistencies of the wind. There's no way I should have came up as short as that. So this is a tough shot, guys. If we can get this within five, six feet, we're doing well. Certainly want to stay left hand side of the flag stick. Try and get it as close as possible. It's a great execution. That can check up any time now. And that is a really good rescue shot from there. Very, very happy with that. Hopefully we can convert this five foot putt and get the par save. But I'm amazed that that came up so short. We do get a par save. Okay, so that'll keep you at nine under for the round. But certainly this course just, it looks so natural. There's nothing about it. It looks forced. Very impressed. As we do move on to hole 15. This is quite a short par 5, playing 517 yards. With that wind, we're just setting us down the left-hand side, allowing the wind to take us back round to the right. It's a decent swing. That wind really coming into effect. We should be able to reach this green quite comfortably in two here with that 301-yard drive. 
210 yards, wind, oh look at this guys, look at the slopes in this green, certainly don't want to be too far left, so I'm just applying one touch of draw here, trying to keep this up in the top part of the green, need a clean swing here. Oh, I've put a fast, that's going to go left and long now. That's got potentially to work its way all off the green here if it finds that slope. Yep, yeah, just like that. Ah, just the tempo absolute killing me there. And we do have a, a tricky chip shot once again. I can't risk flopping that. We are going to have to chip this and use that green to take it all the way back down towards the cup. This is a tough shot coming up. Good execution. It turns well. It can check up any time now. And I'm actually really happy with that effort. Probably about a five to six foot putt for birdie. Four foot. Very, very happy with that effort. And we do convert the birdie. So we're having a solid round. We are ten under. Seven under in the front nine. Three under currently on the back nine. And hole 16, par 4, playing 471 yards. But what a fantastic course this is. Very, very impressed. This is a beautiful looking hole. That little pond or lake. And playing the right hand side. Many a golf ball have went in there. During rounds of golf here. So 9 mile per hour, 10 mile per hour wind it's just picked up. Setting us down the right hand side. Wind should bring us back into the, the centre of the fairway here. That should really run on along this fairway. It's another drive. It's way past 300 yards. 329 yards to be exact. It's 158 down 9. So it's playing 155. That wind's going to take us round. Really going to have to loft this up here. So it's almost a fully lofted 8 iron. It's good execution. Needs to get down. Oh, the wind took me round more than we expected. And we're way long once again. Wow. So... It's another chip shot. We've had plenty of these today. Not hold one yet though. So once again we're going to really attack this. It's got a chance. Oh, you're not going to get much closer than that without a drop in. So unlucky not to, to drop for the birdie. But we do convert a two foot putt for the part. And we will remain at 10 under par. So two holes left to play. If this fantastic RCR, hole number 17, par 3, playing 214 yards. The par 3s are absolutely spectacular here at Crooked Stick. It really, really is spectacular. Winds really died down. Probably about the first time in the round we've had single-figure winds. So I'm coming down to the 6-iron here, looking to kick this on from the fairway. Just deal off in the 6-iron so we get some good runoff on it. And hopefully it can run up towards the pin. Oh, I've pushed that right. There's that swing again. And look how far right that goes. It is unbelievable. We don't get a favourable kick. And once again, it's going to be another chip shot. We are getting lots of practice with our chip shots from in and around the green. This one's quite tricky though. 76 to 83. It's going to kick hard left. Tell you what, could potentially be looking at a first drop shot of the round here. That was a horrible execution. An 11 foot putt. It's turning to the right. Going to play this quite firm. And it does drop into the heart of the cup and we do save the par there after that atrocious tee shot and chip shot. But let's step on to the 18th final hole if this truly magnificent course it is a par 4 playing 452 yards and what a spectacular finishing hole this is. Slight dog leg right. Water is in play down the right hand side. 
bunkers well positioned to protect the green and look at the slope off in the green there as well with that pin position. We could well be looking to use that to our advantage. It's a laser beam of a tee shot. So far, so good for it should point. be another drive that's past 300 yards. That should be a, a pitching wedge, maybe even a 9 iron into this green. All right, we're right around it's a gap wedge, we're a lot closer. I think I may have to drop a club, so let's go for the sand wedge. I am really looking to deal off this and land this ball on that slope and let it release down there. I think it's the only way we can really get close to this pin. So anywhere on that left-hand side, catching that slope, it should filter its way down towards the pin. Tell you what, this looks beautiful. This looks beautiful. Get in the hole. What a fantastic golf shot. And that hopefully sets us up for a finishing birdie on this 18th hole. From six feet. A little bit of turn in the right. That drops right into the heart of the cup and we do finish at 11 under, which should be a 61 with this par 72. But what a fantastic course. Crooked Stick GC Live there is guys I really hope you enjoyed this video Please get out and play the course Feel free to add my ghost ball if you are on the PS4 I really enjoyed my round here Hats off to Mike Rex for creating a fantastic course So with that our handicap is now up to 31 plus 5 For me that is a favourite and a 5 star without a doubt But that is it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed If you do please hit the like button Until the next video Take care, peace out and love you all Bye